What's up, guys? Mental Monday for you on a Sunday night. Hopefully, I'm stealing some of your attention from the Ohio State Stanford duel meet that's going on right now. Colin Moore just got uh, he's tech fold Nathan Traxler. Sometimes Colin Moore looks so fantastic. Sometimes he looks not so great. Never know what you're gonna get out of Colin Moore. Um, Sammy Siasso did not look great tonight. Uh, not nearly as good as he looked last weekend at the Michigan State Open. So obviously, Matt and I will be talking about this week on the Roots Lesson Podcast. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, listen, Matt is Matt's fired up about the uh, transfer portal thing. I'm excited to hear what he's got to say tomorrow. Uh, he called me all pissed off. I told him, Matt, listen, save it, save it for the podcast. I want I want to hear that energy. Um, so what I'm talking to you guys about tonight on this Mental Monday is the balance between confidence slash ego, and then when to get rid of the ego slash when to be critical. And so I, if we had, I wish I wish I could have a diagram. I wish I had a, like a chalkboard back here on my wall, but I do not. I'm sorry. Um, and so I, I wish I had that for you guys because I would draw this chart out, right? So there's two there's two things here, and you need to make them balance. You know, I'm big on balance. I'm really really big on balance. So if you have one of these things, it's gonna be good. If you have the other one of these things, it's good. If you understand how to balance them both and use them both at the right time, it's great. Okay. So the first one would be. Your ego or confidence, being you know having a lot of self belief, um, and, and I there there is a direct correlation between confidence and success, and I think um, I think a lot of that boils down to when you're a confident person, you're also not really too worried about stuff, and when you go out to compete, you don't want to be worried about anything. You want to just go compete, just go wrestle, right? Use your to the best, use your skills to the best of your abilities. Okay, so now on the other one is how critical you are of your skills, right? And this could be mental skills, physical skills. We're gonna talk about technical skills because that, that's the easiest one for me to, to, to get through to you guys. So you want to be able to be very critical of your technical skills, okay? So you wanna be able to say, shoot, I keep getting in my single leg, but when I cut the corner, I can't finish, right? And the, and the more specific we can be, the better, because then we can work on that one really, really specific area that we're not getting. When I, you know, I, I get to my post high crotch, but when I get to my high crotch, I get my crack down. I'm almost getting it shelved up, but I'm not quite getting there. Why am I not getting there? And then you need to figure out why you're not getting that one little part, right? And so the more critical of yourself you can be, the better. Now, here, this, this is what's really important. This is how these things balance. Um, lots of times people who are confident and or have big egos, they fail to see the the mistakes they're making or they don't or they don't want or they fail to acknowledge them right they don't want to acknowledge them because they they think somehow that will bring their confidence down okay so now um if you're one of those really confident people just because you're making technical mistakes or just because you're not perfect right none, none of us are perfect just because you're not doesn't mean you can't still be confident you can still you can still be very confident and you can also say i I'm very confident in my skills, but I need to work on this one thing. I, I wrestled really good in that match, but I didn't do this, okay? So then on, on the other side, if you're really critical, say, dang, I didn't get, I didn't, I cut the corner, I didn't fish my sink legs at all today. I was getting stuck in a shin wizard position or wherever you're getting stuck. Lots of times people who are like that, they get really down on themselves, okay? And so if you get really down on yourself, get depressed, obviously that leads, that's really, that's a, that's a slippery slope. You don't want to go down that path. And so the, the, the balance here is being really confident while still being able to be very critical of yourself. Okay. So if you're very critical of yourself, that's a good quality. That's going to help you get better because you're critical of the skills that you need to get better. If you're very confident, that is a good skill. Okay. But can't hurt you because you will neglect to get better in some areas because you're puffing on your chest all the time. If you can do both of those things together, if you can have a big ego and a lot of confidence and then at the same time be able to put it aside and take advice from other people or work on certain skills or be critical of yourself, if you can do those things, that's where you that's the sweet spot right there. Right? So if you have one, good. If you have the other one, good. If you can mix both of them to great and balance them really well, that's the best. Okay, so I had that talk with a wrestler this weekend. I thought it was very important to uh to explain to you guys on the Monday because, again, those are two qualities. They're kind of the opposite of each other. But if you can put them together, it becomes a really, really effective tandem. So that's what I got. Matt and I are going to be talking about 
all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff this weekend. Uh, I'm sorry, this week. A lot of wrestling last weekend. Uh, Penn State crushed it today. Ohio State crushed it today. Um, man, so much fun stuff to talk about. I'll see you guys on the podcast. Peace.